You may have seen it moving swiftly across the night sky, and wondered, what is life like on the International Space Station? The International Space Station, makes its home, in low Earth orbit, approximately 250 miles above the Earth's surface. It is traveling at just under 5 miles per second, that's about 17,000 miles per hour. It is the most expensive single item ever built, costing over $150 billion. Those lucky enough, to board this otherworldly vessel, experience spectacular sunrises and sunsets, approximately, every 45 minutes. It may even hold the key to humankind's next great space ambition, which is a mission to Mars with humans aboard. While waiting for that to happen, here's what is it like to live on the International Space Station. The American crew drinks recycled urine while the Russians refuse. Even though water is the most abundant resource on Earth, the supply on the ISS is limited. Two water filtering systems are available, one for the Americans and one for the Russians. The astronauts filter their own urine, although the Russians refuse to drink it. All astronauts visiting the ISS drink recycled wash water. The station holds about 2,000 liters of water in reserve. The recycled urine tastes like bottled water, and the water setup isn't as disgusting as people might think. Before you cringe, at the thought of drinking your leftover wash water and your leftover urine, keep in mind that the water astronauts end up with, is purer than most of the water that you drink at home. That makes the International Space Station its own self-contained environment. Preparation for spacewalks takes almost one day. Since 1998, astronauts have completed 224 spacewalks. Most spacewalks help maintain the exterior of the ISS. Preparation is key to safety, and lasts nearly a full day. It begins with decompression, which is the same procedure deep divers use, when returning from the depths of the ocean. During a spacewalk, astronauts have to breathe pure oxygen, because the amount of oxygen in regular air is insufficient, at such low pressure. One hour before the spacewalk, they begin to breathe pure oxygen through a mask, which prepares them for breathing it during the spacewalk. The decompressed airlock is connected to another compartment, that is unpressurized and leads to outside the ISS. The astronaut puts on the full spacesuit inside the airlock, then the airlock is sealed. The pressure inside is gradually decreased. Once the appropriate pressure is reached, the spacewalker pulls themselves through the outer hatch, and the spacewalk begins. The length of a spacewalk varies according to its mission, but generally lasts about six hours, and the astronaut is fully tethered for safety at all times. Astronauts have to live in a room, the size of a phone booth. Space inside the ISS is limited, and with a few other astronaut roommates, living quarters are small, but efficiently designed. Inside a room the size of a phone booth is a sleeping bag, affixed to the wall, this keeps astronauts from floating around while asleep. Two computers are in the sleeping quarters, one for official business, and the other for personal business, that includes internet access. This setup allows the crew to communicate with family and friends, using a camera and headphones for video calling. A personal space that is not much bigger than a human can be challenging, but cozy at the same time. Most of the work on the ISS involves station maintenance, and studying the effects of microgravity. The effects of microgravity, present many obstacles in human space flights. Astronauts study how microgravity affects the human body, to learn how to deal with its effects, such as bone loss, over an extended time frame. The crew members also study how gravity affects the growth of plants. The ISS never returns to Earth, so it must be repaired, and maintained in orbit. Astronauts need to restrain their legs, to use the toilet. Using the toilet in space can be tricky. The astronauts have to position themselves on the toilet seat, using leg restraints and thigh bars. The toilet basically works like a vacuum cleaner, with fans that suck air and waste into the commode. Each astronaut has a personal urinal funnel, which has to be attached to the hose's adapter. Fans suck air and urine through the funnel and hose into the wastewater tank. Due to the microgravity environment, astronauts practice hygiene differently. Space hygiene practices are different, 
from how we clean up on Earth. Dental hygiene is similar, but astronauts wash their hair with a special rinseless shampoo and a few drops of water. They don't shower, but use wipes to clean their bodies, then towel off. Each astronaut is allowed to bring a personal hygiene kit containing personal items, such as their preferred brand of toothpaste. Astronauts exercise two hours per day to prevent bone and muscle loss. To maintain a healthy body that stands up to the requirements of life in space, astronauts usually exercise for about two hours each day. This routine helps prevent bone and muscle loss due to the microgravity environment. The routine consists of three main exercises, using different devices. A cycle ergometer, similar to a bicycle, where the main activity is pedaling. A treadmill, with a harness that holds the astronaut to the walking surface, and a resistance device, which looks like a weightlifting machine, but uses resistance bands instead of weights and can create a total body workout. Though most food is prepackaged and thermometabolized, the space station gets deliveries of fresh foods. Space food has come a long way since the early days of space travel. Astronauts have a variety of food options, and many are not different from choices available on Earth. Fresh fruit and vegetables, for example, are delivered to the ISS either by the U.S. Space Shuttle or the Russian supply ship. The fresh food usually spoils within a week because the ISS doesn't have a refrigerator. Other available fresh foods include tortillas, bread, and breakfast rolls. For a fruit fix when the fresh items are gone, astronauts dine on applesauce, fruit cocktail, dried fruits, and fruit juices. Crew members cut their own hair. Hair still grows in space, and because astronauts generally stay on the space station for six months, they might need a few haircuts. They serve as their own stylists, using a device attached to a vacuum hose that removes the trimmed hair, preventing it from floating away and interfering with sensitive equipment. Microgravity can be fun, but dangerous. Floating around in zero gravity might sound like a fun childhood fantasy, but it's the daily reality for an astronaut. Zipping through the ISS chambers can be fraught with danger in the long run, because weightlessness places great demands on the body. Weightlessness initially can lead to nausea, dizziness, and disorientation. Sinuses can swell, and legs might shrink. Long-term effects include weak muscles and brittle bones. Astronauts change their shirts and underwear every other day. Astronauts change their shirts, socks, and underwear every other day, and pants once a week. Because there's no way to launder dirty clothes aboard the ISS, their clothes become disposable. It might seem wasteful, but they simply place their dirty clothes in plastic bags that are placed in the unmanned cargo ships, which burn up, along with everything inside them, after leaving the space station.